All right, what's going on here? Stay tuned, guys. I'll explain it at the end of the video. All right, so we have four of these stainless steel humidifier tanks to pull out and clean. There's a bunch of scale inside these, so we're going to take them out. We're going to clean them up. We're going to put some liquid scale dissolver inside of them, and then we're going to let that chemical eat away at the scale. First, what we're going to do here is put the unit into manual drain at the, at the valve here. Let, let it drain down. There's no local disconnect on these, so we have to go down to the main panel and we have to lock out the disconnects. There's four in total. We're doing four of these today. This video is brought to you by Harago.com, a trades-only platform helping you find the right job or the right candidate. Harago.com best in trade. So just so I can show you how this valve works in manual drain, we push it over and we push it up there so it catches on this little lip and that's in manual drain right there. So we hit a bit of a snag here. There's two humidifier disconnects. This disconnect was a problem and it's been removed by the electrician and it needs to go back in during a power shutdown. So we can't actually lock this one out but there's no switch in here so we're, we're safe the wires have been isolated and nothing can happen here until the building power gets shut down this one here has been locked out by the electrician luckily he left his phone number here we can't take his lock off but it's it's locked out but we're gonna lock it out anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply our hasp here and then we're gonna lock it out and then that way if he comes along and takes it off we have our lock on it so we can safely work on the machine so we're gonna go ahead and lock out these three and we're good on this one. Before we go ahead and remove the tank, because we got to take the wiring off and it's all plug-ins, which makes it easy, but we want to verify there's no power here. But while we're doing this, we found that the, the relay is burnt up. This is a solid state relay that pulses current to the heaters and it's burnt up and the wires are pulled off. So we're going to have to, once we clean these, rectify this before we can turn this back on. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and pull this out and clean it up and check power beforehand. We also want to make sure the water is off too when we have this disabled and disconnected. The last thing we want is the solenoid here to open and start pouring water out when it's not connected to nothing. So we got the cover off of this one and you can see the scale that's on the heaters and in the bottom so what we got to do is we have to clean this out fill it with water and then add some scale dissolver to get rid of all this and then we dunk the heaters back inside and it eats away at all the scale we're going to leave it overnight so 24 hours soaking in water and liquid scale dissolver we are very clean inside we're just going to have to maybe use a little bit of liquid scale dissolver on a rag and just wipe around here a little bit uh, here are the heaters. They are very clean as well, but like I said a wipe down with a rag just to get some of this residual off And we should be good to go to put these back in uh, We had a little bit of this Water spill out of these so we're just cleaning it up Okay, so we have this back, it's installed. Rubber couplings are tightened, all the connections are in. 
Now we had a melted relay right here. Here it is right here. That was all melted down. We took a relay out of one of these humidifiers that has no power to it and we just put it in there. Now there's a bunch of dirt and stuff back there. We took a brush and cleaned up all the terminals but this dirt is kind of embedded back there because what happens here, this cooling fan sucks air in through this grill here and it just, any dirt in the air just kind of sticks to the back of this. But we cleaned up the connections. We don't have any more dirt on the connections and that is my main concern. So we're gonna go ahead and start this up and see if we can find any issues with this humidifier. Okay, power's on, we got the alarm reset. We're filling up, water's entering right here through this tube, up through this contraption back here and it's actually filling through the same line that it drains from. So we got this set to 80% RH all the way up as, as high as we can go here just so we can test this out. Once we know it's running fine and good, we'll set it back down to the set point that they would like it at. Okay, so that is the melted relay and the other three are good, okay? They're all doing similar to this. And they all get to a maximum amperage of about 24 and a half amps. Now, why is it doing this? There's a, a really good reason why it's doing this. And this is normal, by the way. These are not regular relays. These are solid state relays. They actually pulse the current rather than keep the current steady. Because if we kept the current steady, we'd overheat that tank really, really fast. And if these were conventional relays, what would happen is, or conventional contactors, what would happen is they'd be pulling in and pulling out constantly. So in order prevent, to prevent that from happening, we have one contactor that pulls in and stays pulled in, and these solid state relays pulse that current to the heaters to maintain what the tank wants. All right, you see these a lot on duct heaters or humidifiers or anything that's trying to maintain without pulling this contactor in and out, in and out. That's why it's like that. Anyway, guys, we're done. We're good to go. This thing's working. Happy HVACing.